The Metaverse. Everyone talks about it, but no one can really imagine it yet. Therefore, I want to bring you closer to the Metaverse through an example in this tutorial. I will show you how to create a 360 degree VR video animation with your consumer 360 camera. Let me explain my idea behind it. 360 degree VR videos and photos are nothing new, no matter if they are viewed on a screen or through a VR goggle. The situation is as follows. The viewer has the possibility to move freely around the room. There are no restrictions and introductions for the viewer. To guide the viewer through the 360 room in a controlled way, the use of animations is a possibility. I see great potential in using this technology to present stores, facilities, art, learning material and much more. Therefore, in this tutorial, I want to show you how to create 360 VR animations with Adobe After Effects. In my opinion, Adobe After Effects is currently the best program for creating VR animations. If anyone knows other programs, please let me know in the comments. In the first step, I open After Effects and create a new project. Then import your 360 photo or video, where you want to add a VR animation. In my example, I use a 360 video, which I created with my Insta360 ONE X2. Drag and drop the footage on the composition symbol to create a new composition. To create the 360 degree animation environment, click on Window and VR Comp Editor to open the After Effects plugin. The VR Comp Editor will open where you can create a 2D edit. The difference between a 2D edit and a 3D edit will be explained later. Select your 360 video footage. I would recommend you to stay with the default composition settings with 1920 and aspect ratio 16 to 9. Make sure to activate the settings. Use 2D node camera, use 3D null camera control and center camera. Then click on add to d edit. After Effects automatically creates your 360 editing and final output environment. You can switch between the editing and output rendering environment with the buttons Edit and Open Output Render in the VR Editor. In the editing environment, you can move around in the 360 room with the Orbit Around Cursor tool. The shortcut for this cursor is C. With the Wii, you can switch back to the normal cursor. The first editing step I show you is how to remove the tripod in the 360 video. Point down to the tripod with the orbit cursor and select the clone stamp tool. Then double click on the image. Now you can see a small brush cursor. You can increase the diameter in the brushes tab. Press ALT and select an area near the tripod. Then use the brush to paint over the tripod. When you now click on the output button in the VR editor, you will see that the tripod has disappeared here as well. Now you will understand how the VR Comp Editor works. It's kind of a converter. You can edit your 360 video in the editor and it will be automatically converted to a 360 degree video for export. Here is an important information. If you switch back to the editor and change the perspective, the edited area will also change. This will affect your output. Therefore, in order to perform further editing steps, a new editing environment must be created. I would recommend the use of folders, otherwise it quickly becomes confusing. For this I create a folder which I name Remove Tripod and move everything into it. Then I take the output composition and drag and drop it on the composition symbol to create a new composition. With the VR Comp Editor I can now create a new 360 editing and 360 output environment. This time I choose the 
Add 3D Edit option. The difference between the 2D Edit and the 3D Edit is the area of the edited effects in the 360 output video. With 2D Edit, only the displayed area in the editor environment is transferred to the 360 output video. For example, if I create a text in the 2D Edit and do not change the camera angle, the text is visible in the output video. But now, when I change the camera position in the editor and go back to the output composition, the text is no longer visible. If I do this in the 3D edit, it doesn't matter which camera angle I have in the editor. The text is always visible in the output video. And this is exactly what we need for a 360 VR animation, which we are creating now. Back to the 3D edit editor. We can move around with the orbit cursor without affecting the output sequence and the tripod is removed. Now we can start to add the first 360 animation. My idea is to create an avatar that guides the viewer through the 360 room. But first we start with a simple text example. For this I use the text tool and write an example test text on the image. When you now move around with the orbit cursor, the text always stays on the same place. To lock it, the text must be marked as 3D layer. The text disappears, because it is now exactly in the zero axis. To make the text visible again, change the set coordinate. Now the text becomes visible again in the 360 room. With the coordinate system, the text can be placed anywhere you like. If you now change the perspective with the orbit cursor, the text remains fixed in the 360 room. Here you can experiment and create different text examples, layers and much more. If you switch back to the output render composition, you will see that the objects are converted to the 360 video. Of course, it is possible to animate the objects with movements. Keyframes are used for this purpose. For this, the keyframe function must be activated with the stopwatch symbol. Set the keyframe at a defined time. Then move the time cursor to set another keyframe at another timestamp. In this example, the text moves from the first defined position to the second. This way a motion animation can be created. Now you are familiar with the most important basic functions. Without going into detail, I have created a 360 guide avatar. I will now continue with it. I also created a motion animation path. The avatar moves across the whole 360 environment and the viewer is invited to follow it. The idea behind is that the viewer explores the environment in a defined and controlled way. To create depth it is necessary that the avatar disappears behind objects. For this masking is required. I recommend you to mask directly in the output composition. My tip is to create a new mask composition. Add the 360 raw material as top layer and then create your mask. Now the 360 VR video animation is finished. After exporting, the video can be viewed in a 360 video viewer, such as Insta360 Studio.
You can also upload it to YouTube or Facebook to watch it using your smartphone. In the info box and the description, you can find the YouTube link where I uploaded the final 360 video animation. If you want to create your own 360 VR content, you will find all the important links in the video description. As for 60 camera, I recommend the Insta360 ONE X2. The Insta360 ONE X2 is optimal for creating 360 degree material. Currently, the Insta360 ONE X2 is the best consumer 360 camera on the market. A link to the editing program Adobe After Effects can also be found in the description. You can test Adobe After Effects for free. After the trial period, there are different subscription models available. Check out the Adobe website for more information. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you want to see more content about 360 VR video editing, subscribe to my channel and never miss a video again. I see you in the next one.